Here we go. Why Lopo? Does anybody know what Why Lopo is? First of all, before I even start, no. other than that, it's just a funny name. No. Yeah, maybe um, we're gonna go just basic overview of Why Lopo, right? So just just to preface the meeting, Rob, because I know you're a little advanced, but I want to just this is just the introduction right now to Why Lopo and what it's about and how we're gonna be using it. Um, so if you want to chime in, Rob, definitely chime in, but just. We're on level one right now, level one, because some of us never even heard the name Y Lopo yet, right? Y Lopo. Okay. So tech package, tech package. All right. So what Y Lopo is, guys, Y Lopo is basically a third party. I would call it like an add-on that we can add on to our CRM. So it's not a CRM, right? Our CRM is follow-up boss. Um, but why Lopo is going to be an add-on that lets us allow different tools that are going to help us convert leads at a higher level, right? So the great thing about uh, the great thing about a system like follow-up boss, if you want to mute yourself, guys, if you guys are on, unless you have a question. Um, the great thing about follow-up boss is it's one of the CRMs out there that's the most compatible with other tools and features, and you can really integrate stuff. That's the really good thing about um, follow-up boss. It has what's called an open integration, um, where basically you can hook up any other system onto follow-up boss. Uh, let me make sure we're repeated here. Okay, so what YLOPO is going to allow us to do it's going to allow us to add things like home searches for our clients. It's going to allow us to do seller reports. It has other tools that we're going to be able to use, like open house tools, uh, marketing flyers, all kinds of stuff. And the cool thing about YLOPO is that all the information and all the things that you use is going to sync directly with Follow Up Boss. So if you put someone on a home search, for example, you'll be able to see that stuff in Follow Up Boss. You'll be able to see the activity and it could trigger certain events and tasks and automations and stuff like that right so in the past we had uh, firepoint right where firepoint you can set up a home search uh within firepoint um the challenge with firepoint it was limited on what you can do like it had some basic functions but it would only get to a certain level and like this is going to be like the 2.0 version of of what firepoint was able to do it can do a lot more a lot more things that makes our business a lot more efficient so how should we think about y lopo right we want to think about it as a tool. A tool is only as good as how much you use the tool, right? Like, remember, I remember you said like some analogy where you went and bought this tool oh, from Harbor from Harbor Freight, yeah. right? And it allowed you to do whatever you were trying to do. What were you building? Oh, I was cutting something on my car. Cutting oh, something on your yeah. car, right? I bought a cheap tool from Harbor Freight, and it didn't do the job like five seconds of growth. So got it. Got but you got the good stuff and then you were able to get the job done right so that's a perfect example right of number one there's different tools out there some are better than others but if you don't use the tool if you don't take it out of the package and you don't go apply it and put it into business you know into work it's not going to work for you right and so that's what i want you guys to look at this i want you guys to look at this tool look at this as a tool and start thinking about how do i use this tool in my business on a daily basis to make my job easier to be more effective with buyers and sellers to convert at a higher level, to create more opportunity for myself. That's how I want you to look at this, at this tool, right? Otherwise, what will happen is it just kind of goes like in the list of like all these different things that PRG has and like, I'm not really using any of them at a high level, right? Mm -hmm. And this is one that you can use at a high level that's gonna check multiple boxes in our day-to-day -day business, right? So I always start with mindset, right? You guys know I always start my meetings with mindset because if you guys know why we're doing this, then- <laughs> You're that much more willing to actually take the time to use it, right? Uh, Kim, let's make sure you mute yourself. Kim, we can hear you talking. Yes. Can you uh, mute yourself? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So how does it integrate with follow-up boss and what role does it play? So uh, YLOPO has this thing called YLOPO stars. That's basically how the whole system works. So YLOPO stars is equivalent to like firepoints portal of when you go set up a home search right so 
when you when you click on set up a home search in firepoint if you remember that it takes you to this page you can put all your parameters that's basically what ylopo causes ylopo stars but it has all these other things that we can do as well other than just set up a home search right and so all the leads work off this ylopo stars page so the ylopo stars attaches to follow up boss and through the stars it has its own url its own link that's how you're able to set up searches and all those things so I'm going to pull up a lead in here that has Y Lopo stars. Um, so just so you guys know, um, right now, Y Lopo is currently integrating, integrating it with all of our leads that we have. So if we had leads in the system before that had a safe search, Y Lopo is going to hook up a stars link basically and put those safe searches on there, right? So you're not having to necessarily go back and reapply safe searches. But the other thing to keep in mind is that some of those safe searches were outdated, right? And so this is your chance where you can go in there and click on it and update the search and stuff like that and customize it. Uh, so let me see if I can find one. Yeah, so the, so the question Rob asks is, are we gonna automate this stuff? So yeah, we're gonna automate as much as we can, right? So like when a Zillow Flex lead comes in, it should be able to recognize what that person is searching for. And based off that search, it creates this home search in YLOPO stars, right? Yeah. Um, there are going to be some that you have to manually do, right? Um, but it also, the whole point of YLOPO stars is to get people clicking on our site and searching for properties as we send them to their emails and stuff like that. And then when we see that activity, the system can now engage with them. So YLOPO also has an AI texting feature. So let's say uh, YLOPO sends you a list of properties and then you start clicking on these properties. The AI will kick in and it'll say, hey, John, this is Mauricio's assistant, um, right? I noticed you were looking at this property on 123 Main Street. Do you want to go take a look at it? And so the system could start actually texting for you and have a whole conversation with the lead. And then it'll alert you if you need to step in, right? So the key thing also is you got to pay attention to your alerts, right? Your notification. Yes, sir. So you're, you're your uh, important list, you know how you have those smart lists at the top? There's an important list. So that important list, if you're using this the right way, is always going to have you doing things and activities because it's stirring up, it's mudding up the waters and yeah. bringing all the great stuff that you need to pay attention to the top under an important tab. Yeah. Sorry. So this important tab right here, right? We see I'm in follow up boss right now. You see all our smart lists. So the important one is going to be maybe anybody who's engaged right so i'm going to click on this lead for example and so this lead is a zillow flex lead and so we can see the activity on the right hand side through zillow flex right so we know they looked at six homes save six homes 89 home views we can see that the challenge is that a lot of us are not in our like we should be but we're not in our system saying hey look, he looked at six homes. Let me click on these six homes. Let me start calling him and see if he wants to see any of those, right? Because we're busy, we're on appointments, or we're just not managing our leads all the way. And so that's the challenge that we have um, is that as an agent, we should be looking at the engagement and the activity, right, from the lead and then calling and following up based off that. But it's just not happening, right? And we know that's just human nature. It's just when you're juggling a lot of leads, it's hard to stay on top of them. So YLOPO's solution is, hey, let me be like a bridge between that, right? Let me take over some of that communication. And the way they do that is by taking the lead off of Zillow and putting it, having the lead engaged through the YLOPO properties, right? So it's basically like an IDX site. So like we have an IDX site now where they can search for homes, right? So this is the IDX site. This is on our PRG site. So if you go to realestateprg.com, you click on search for homes, right? Takes you to that page. So that's our that's how we've integrated the YLOPO. But this is actually a YLOPO page that we integrated with our PRG website. So someone can go on here and search for properties, right? San Jose. They can click. Boom. And this looks just like, remember, in Firepoint when you can set up home searches, right? It looks like any portal, right? Any portal you go on to, Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin. But now they can see these properties. But now when they log in and they click on these, by default, 
when you come to our just our website in general, it's going to show my name because I'm the team leader. But when they click on the, the emails that you're sending out on your behalf, your information is going to pop up here, right? So you will be the agent. So they see you in your face, right? And so let's say, for example, Mauricio has a lead and Wailopo send sends him a list of lead, uh, list of properties in his email. The lead clicks on it. It's going to open up this page. Mauricio's name is going to be right here. It's going to be branded to him. And then we can put our preferred lender, right? So right now I just defaulted as Jason, but we could put Steve on there. We can co-market with other lenders as well. Like there's a lot of things that we can do, right? And so they can, I mean, it looks really cool, guys. Like it's, it looks legit like you would go onto any other portal. And it has a lot of built-in call to actions, right? Like ask a question, tour this home, get your rate for this home, get your rates today. And so anytime somebody clicks on one of those things, that triggers an alert on our end, right? Or that triggers an action to happen. The AI texting can step in, right? Hey, I noticed you were looking to find out what the rates are, right? Are you guys shopping for a home? Boom, it starts talking to them. And then it warms them up. And then of course you're gonna step in and take over at some point, right? And it can help filter out too, because it'll ask them their timeline. Hey, are on, you know, are how how long till you're looking to buy or sell? Well, hey, I'm a year out. Okay, I'll stay in touch with you. Or hey, I'm three to six months out. It'll alert you, hey, this lead's three to six months out. You need to follow up and call this lead, right? So just imagine like you have a built-in assistant now that's gonna help with some of your follow-up and with some of your lead nurturing and your and your lead engagement. But like I said, it's a tool, right? This isn't gonna replace what you're supposed to do. It's like adding this extra tool onto your tool belt that you now have to know how the game is played and now you can jump and step in when you need to, right? And Ricky, I think, again, I know this is a wide local training, but I really want you guys to emphasize, it doesn't replace from us picking up a phone and calling our client. Yep. And I, I just really want to emphasize that because this will only take it so far. If, if, if this AI tells you that they're ready to buy in six months, that's the AI telling you. That still means you pick up the phone and you call the client to see how you can move that closer. Yeah. Right? So I, I just want to make sure you understand that it's only going to do so much, right? And yeah. you still need to be physically active in all these weeks. But it's filling in the gap, right? It's filling in this gap of getting back to a lead, right, on time. Because the other thing, too, is speed the lead is important, right? If someone's searching on your site right now and they're clicking on properties, and they're interested right now, right? Because they took time out of their day or whatever, but you don't call them back for a day or two days, which we see that happening all the time, guys. Leads are going out to the team. And for whatever reason, they're not being called for 48 hours, 72 hours. By that time, the person is not even thinking about what they were doing in that moment, right? And so by inserting the system where it can engage with them right on the spot through text, it can help minimize those ones that fall through, right? But the agent still has to meet them halfway. The agent still has to do their part. The agent still has to recognize the cues and then be able to jump on that opportunity when it comes up. Uh, so one of the good things that would follow up at Wailopo is that any sort of action that is being taken by the client on the sites automatically adds tags. So if you can brought up one thing where he said, and looking in three months, you can now filter out people that are looking in three months yeah. or looking in two months. So everything that's pertinent that you should know it starts to show up on the follow up office tags. So you can now filter out your list of calling before you plan on doing this. Yep, absolutely. Um, okay, so let's move forward, guys. Um, so we know how it integrates with FUB and what role it's going to play, right? Now, I want to show you guys an example because it's, it's all the leads are still sinking right now. So, like within the next week, uh, a lot of these will now be in the Ylopo system. And then as new leads come in, they're going to start being added to the Ylopo system and engaging with it. And then as new leads search on or start clicking on the properties that are being sent to them, then the system will engage with them, right? So it needs to be triggered by some sort of action. People have to start engaging. And so right now we're, it's, we're getting the two systems to talk to each other. But a week from now, like we should be up and running. So I'm going to find one. There's a couple of them that are already. Actually, let me do my. Go to people, go to your shoulders, and I'm going to pull this code under wide logo. And you'll be able to pull everyone up that's been. Well, here's my, here's right now. This is a dummy lead, right? This is a test lead. This is my information right here. So you'll see how the system engages, right? So. What it did is I went in there and I added myself, right? So I went onto the site, I started clicking, I punched, I registered just like a client would. 
and because I want to see what the experience is like, right? So now I'm getting emails in my email from YLOPO um, with properties. I also entered my prop my address to see what my home value was. So now I'm getting emails from them on my home value as well. So it also does the seller part of it. Right now we're using Fellow. We're still deciding if we're going to keep Fellow or not um, because Fellow only does sellers. So it's it has a lot more bells and whistles, but this does enough where we may not need Fellow, right? So more to come on that um but what it does is when the when the lead is added to the star system it creates a link right here y lopo stars link so you'll see this on the left hand side of your lead you'll see this y lopo stars link and then there's also a seller report since i added myself to a seller report when you click on this stars link now that takes you to the page just for that lead in y lopo right and from here this is where you start to see all the tools so I can see like average price, how many time, how many uh, days ago did I visit, how many listings I viewed, um, and it has a bunch of different pools here. So if I want to push listings, so if I want to go create a list of property, so like instead of instead of sending properties from the MLS, you're going to go in here and you're going to like, hey, I'm going to identify, I'm going to put the criteria, what they're looking for, and then I'm going to shoot off ten properties to them. You you can just come in here and create listings for them. So I can go click on this. And I can say, okay, what area? I can go by address, by MLS, by neighborhood, by cities, price range. Same thing you would do in the MLS, right? Property types, how many days on market. I can get really granular right here. And then I can just hit submit and it'll automatically just send that list to them, right? That's if we wanna do like one-off kind of custom home searches for these people. Um, you can just send that link via text, guys. Yeah. Great. You can create a link to that list and you can text it to them too so i can grab probably a grab a link from here um get that link and then i can go and follow up boss and say send a text like hey john you know here's a list of properties that i pulled up for you and then i can copy and paste the link right there right and then what happens is that the benefit of doing this over the mls is that everything that they click on we get to see right MLS, you send it to them, you don't know what they looked at. You don't even, if they looked at it, if they got open, you don't know anything, right? But I know, hey, when I send this to John through here, I know he looked at this listing seven times, this one three times, and now I can respond based off of that. Hey, John, looks like you got the list. I saw you were interested in 123 Main Street. You viewed it a couple times. Do you want to go take a look at that property, right? Uh, okay, so that's just showing you the push listing. So let me go back and show you the other tools. Um, I can create a new search or new listing alert. So this is more where you're just creating a search and then you can pick like, okay, I want it to go out once a day, once a week, the frequency, similar to how we did before with uh, Firepoint, right? Quarterly, um, that's more just putting them on a, a search and then letting the emails kind of go out and do its thing. The first one is if I just want to send one, boom, right now, right? Uh, that's the difference between those two. Seller alert. So this is where it has the seller feature. So I can call this, you know, one, two, three, Main Street, you know, seller alert. I can put their address and then I can put the settings. Weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly. How often do I want them to get a seller report? And then I'll show you what the seller report looks like in my email. Let's see if I can pull this up. Do you remember Homebot again? Yeah. Out of curiosity, what do you think your prayers are down? Because we used to have Homebot. It's a little better. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I should have this up already, but. So Why Lopo was using Homebot, yeah. um, but then they basically copied it and they just built it in. So they used to just sync with Homebot and send out Homebots. And so like this is to show you like what some of the emails look like. This is updated listings. So this is like a listing alert that I'm getting. Here are your new listings in San Jose between this price and this price, right? And then when I click on them, it takes me to the, the page, right? Where it's gonna show me all the listings. And then now I can click on that listing and now it's branded to the agent, right? To whoever the agent is that set it up. 
Yep. So the way that I kind of assess things is the more tweaks they make, the more interested for me, it raises a flag that I should be reaching out. Absolutely. So just to let you know like, how integrated it can get. So this is the seller report here, guys. Um, so this is what they get. Enrique, your home value has been revised and 15 homes have sold in the area. Hi, Enrique, here are the latest market trends in 95111. Do you want to receive these emails anymore so you can unsubscribe? Uh, click to unlock your home value, right? Market competitiveness. It's a balanced market, median list price, active listings, homes impacting your value. It's going to show recent sales. I can go active listings here. And then when I click on it, it's going to now take me to those properties, right? Um, if I want to say, okay, let me unlock my home value. It's going to load the report, right? And so the report looks very similar to like a home bot and even what fellow sends. It's just Y Lopo's own version. I can tune my home value right so if i think my home value is more or less the agent could probably go in there and tune the home value for them as well and then alert them hey i just i just updated your home value and that creates alerts and emails that the client's going to get uh how has your home value changed help me understand so anytime the person clicks on one of these and takes an action that's an alert that you get right john smith tuned his home value so if john smith is in there tuning his home value what does that tell you Curious. Give him a call. He's curious, right? There's a reason why he tuned his value. He can either be curious, he can either be thinking of selling, he could be thinking of buying, he could be thinking of refinancing, or just curious, right? But either way, it's a conversation starter. And then you're gonna call and say, Hey John, notice you were on our site, notice you were, you know, tweaking your home value. How are you finding that tool useful? Right? Hey, by the way, what prompted you to go in there and check your home value? You guys looking to make any moves? How what can I help you with today? And that's just casually gets the conversation started and you just provide value, right? Um, but every time they, they click something, triggers an action on your end, right? And triggers a tag, right? And then you can filter out like, show me all my leads and follow-up boss who have tuned their home value. Show me all my leads, right? Yeah, you have a calling list, you have campaigns you can do, um, right? And then you take it from there. Um, help me understand. So if I click on help me understand is, Hey, let's talk about your home value. I want to understand more about my home's value. looks good. So they click on this, that's going to submit an inquiry to you. And then what's going to happen though, is the AI is going to kick in. So when that inquiry comes in, the AI texting will start automatically. Cause like we said in the beginning, some of you guys, some of us get the inquiry, but then we're not calling for a day or two. Right? So we want that inquiry to come in and immediately your assistant is going to contact them. Hey, I noticed you were curious about your home value. What prompted the inquiry? Uh, I can click it. Yeah, let's see what happens. And, and guys, just for how powerful AI is, on the oh, right, right? Um, Blanca, I had AI open a playbook for me. Lizette, Lizette was all booked through AI. Um, I'm gonna see if this works, guys. It may not work because my phone number is already in the system as an agent. And so if you're trying to enter your own information, you don't want it. You don't want to enter like pretend you're a client, but then enter the email that's in the system as an agent, right? It messes, it gets a little funky. So I don't know if it's going to work on me. I may have to put like a different phone number, um, but we'll see. Calculate your home value, right? They can go in here and start tweaking this thing around. So if I sell my home for $2 million and I owe 700, right? How much equity do I have? 1.3 million. Contact to learn more. Boom. Call to action. Mm -hmm. So I think they have like, I think they were saying they have like, I don't know, 15 to 20 built in call to actions where people can click different things, right? So there's all kinds of ways that you can get the client to basically engage, right? And it'll, it'll tell you which one they reached from? Yeah. It'll tell you which one they clicked on. Here's another thing that's really powerful, guys. As we start to get the system rolling and as more people are engaging with properties, the great thing is that the system will recognize what people are searching for and then we can generate a list of where we have buyers and then match that with sellers, right? So right now it says, how many buyers want a home like yours? So what it's gonna do, it's gonna collect data that's with that we have right now of where our buyers are searching 
And then based off the zip code or parameters, it'll say, hey, we have four buyers that have been searching for homes in your neighborhood, right? And then right here, it says, help me schedule a private showing for buyers. So all the buyers in our system have those uh, yeah. already preset. Uh, what then? Oh, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right. And just do it back and forth. Like, hey, if you have a. So I'm going to show you right now what you can do. So right now, um, as as the leads engage more, the system will just become more powerful, right? Right now it's new. So we don't have everyone clicking on all our stuff. But let's say three months from now, when everyone's been getting emails and everyone's been clicking, it'll start to recognize the behavior and then it'll start to populate a list of where we have buyers and where we have sellers. And then how can you use that, right? When you go on a listing appointment, you can already do a reverse search and you can say, how many buyers do I have looking in this price range in San Jose? And you could print a report and then when you go on your listing presentation, you can say, hey, look, Mr. Client, this is, what, this is why you want to list with me. I actually have 13 buyers searching for homes in the 95123. These are, buyers that are, these are buyers that are in my database that are searching for homes currently in your area. So not only am I going to be able to market your home to everybody out in the public, but I already have people in my database that I can immediately call and see if they might be interested in, in giving you top dollar for your home now, right? We have over twenty or over thirty thousand leads in our CRM. So exactly. Once you start working, that number where it says one right now is going to go up. Like, yeah. Yeah. You, you look at like mine; it's been down. I get there's like 14, 15, and they get sent out periodically all the time. Right. So, so you have to remember why Noble's job is to is to uh, market these people so they could raise their hand in any which way, so that we can go in there and start doing our sales. Yeah. Our, 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 our sales that we do. Yep. Well, that data for the home buyers when it says how many people are searching is that taking from the whole team's data or correct no so the whole team yeah all the leads that we have in our in our whole uh follow-up bus um home details they can they can punch in their home details right they can edit these and then you'll get alerted uh, so i got alerted guys just right while we're right now so i got two two text messages one of them it says hey this is why lopo's priority notification system we will alert you on this number when you receive a high priority lead. So it already knows like, hey, contact me here. And then I got another one, your seller lead, Enrique, which is, I punched myself in there, has requested help to understand the price trend of their home um, with a message, I wanna understand more. Can you walk me through it? View them in the CRM. So I can click here and then it's gonna take me up to a follow-up boss, which I gotta update my app, and it'll open in the follow-up boss app, and I can call them from there and log the call and follow-up boss. Go to your, your follow-up on your, on your app, on your, on your desktop. Okay, one second. Um, cash offers, guys, right? So let me do that again, I had to update the app. Um, so if I click here, I open the app, it should take me to that lead and then I can just call that lead from there. Right. And it'll record it, transcribe it. Yeah. I think it's acting funny because it recognizes my number, right? Because the number is my phone number. My number is already registered as an agent, right? But you would be able to go in there and just click the client. And then from there, you want to call through follow up boss because now it's going to record the call, transcribe it, put notes, and make all kinds of recommendations. Uh, follow up. Uh, uh, let me uh, refresh this page. So look, I got an alert in follow up boss, right? Enrique requested help me understand the price trend. So it, it even gives you scripts, guys. So there's even scripts in there. So oh, here we go. Look at view seller report, so I can see what the client saw. So if I click here, it'll open the seller report. Um, mark this task as complete. Prevent this lead from triggering a priority lead status. Give me some script ideas. Contact us. So if I click on script ideas, it takes me to a training of what to say. Opening scripts. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Hey, John, I see you're on our side. Hey, whatever, blah, 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 right? <laughs> hey, John, I noticed you were looking in this area. Hey, John, right? Look at this, common buyer objections, common seller objections, right? Just curious, right? Hey, John, I noticed you were on, your, on our site looking at your home value. Oh, I'm just curious. Um, did you by any chance see how many buyers were looking for a home like yours? 
right, on our report, right? If you missed it, I can pull it up. It's incredible activity in your area. If you received a good offer, would you be open to moving? Right? So now it's giving you scripts, right? Yeah, well, no, this is giving you scripts. So when you call, you have, right? Um, I'm glad you asked that, though, right? Dan asks, can you copy and paste that? And so I want to bring this up right now. This is a good point, right? I'm glad you asked that. You got to remember, guys, is your job is to take this to a phone call, right? I would not be texting leads back and forth, right? I would try to get off text as much as possible. Use text as a tool to grab them. But if they're showing interest, call them. Because are you going to convert anybody through text at a high level? No, right? Text should be used as, hey, when can we set up a call? Yeah, hey, when can we meet in person? right text should be used for like short conversations short just back and forth but some people are like trying to replace whole entire conversations with text messages and i've seen that guys even from some of the leads that you guys get is you got to you guys are getting leads the system is texting them automatically hey it looks like you requested a home value do you have a chance to talk the lead says yeah i do but then we're continuing to text them back i mean you got to pick up the phone you got to call them right so remember like the good old fashioned phone call is the way that you're going to move them forward because now you can create relationship. You can show them tonality. You can ask questions. You can get a sense of where they're coming from. You can't get any of that from text, right? So I like that you brought that up is because your job is to get that on the phone. You're much better on the phone than you are on a text, right? Especially you, you're great on the phones, right? So use that, use this as a tool to take it to the, that create that opportunity, right? You gotta pick up the phone. You gotta call guys. Please make sure you call. Now, if someone is texting you, right? If they're texting you, what does that mean? They're available and they have their phone in their hand. So just call them, right? Don't text them back. And if they can't answer, they'll let you know. If they can't answer, right? right cool. What's a good time for you to contact? And if they don't answer on the first call, what do we do? Oh. Hang up and call again. If they don't answer on the second call, what do we do? wrong call again if a number calls you three times and you didn't recognize that number are you going to answer by the third try okay so remember let's go one step more right if we know that it's taking more right now to convert leads let's not do the bare minimum like make it a point like hey i do a little bit more than every other agent does most agents call once i call three times right most agents call once, some agents call twice, very few, if not any, call three times, right? Call three times. And then if the third time they don't they don't answer, then text them, right? Then leave a voicemail, then do whatever you gotta do. Hey, it's a uh, it's Enrique, right? I try to call you a few times, my phone got disconnected. Make some shit up, right? Like, sorry, is it better to text you right now? Right? And just go from there. And again, guys, and that's that's a good point because we've been practicing that with with Adrian. I mean, just people have been bringing it on. And the response rate on that second call is huge. And I've tried. So yeah, just don't make the first call. I like what everybody can say. Code three. Why not? Why not, guys? Why not? What we're, we're afraid they're gonna answer? Seriously, I said you guys oh they're gonna answer and say, Why am I bugging it? Well shit, they answered, I'll talk to them. Right? I think I think secretly some people are afraid they're gonna answer. Yeah. They're afraid they're going to answer because then at that time they actually have to perform, right? And then there's a bit of anxiousness or, hey, what if I don't say the wrong, the right thing? What if, you know, what if they yell at me? What if they, whatever. But remember, we're in a contact sport, guys, right? How many times on average does it take to convert a lead? How many contacts? Eight. 15. 10. 10, 11. Okay. We said, we said the magic number was 10, right? It was between like eight to 12 or something is what chat GPT said. We're just using the number 10 because that's an easy number to remember. So if I call three times, I'm already like getting closer to that 10, right? Yep. And so I would definitely just call more. Um, if you see right here in Lopo, it told me Enrique requested help to understand its value. It also gave a, a tag, right? So now it's putting tags on these leads. Home value view. Home value requested, seller report engaged, seller report viewed, seller report viewed, similar listings, organic. So it puts all these tags because the way follow up boss works is it works off tags. So then I can trigger action plans based off tags, right? I can say, hey, when a lead has this tag, send this email, right? Or send this text 
message sequence or send this follow-up campaign. Or even then, we can go a step further. We can do video. Hey, when a lead does this tag, send them this video, right? And then it could be you. Hey, thanks for you know inquiring about your home value, a little bit about me, whatever, right? What we do. Um, so, but so on, on the tag, guys, on the tags. So the system will only alert you one time. It only alerts you one time until you erase tag. You have to erase the tra the, the, the tag because if they re-engage with it again, it will yeah. pop up if you haven't if you haven't dismissed it. But if the dismissal also recognizes that you did your job, right? So you made the phone call, do what you're supposed to do. Then you go over there and click, uh, eliminate that tag so that if they do log back in again, it re-triggers it and then it goes back to the top. Yeah. So you have to play this game. It's, it, it's a little confusing. You'll get, you'll get it. The tags are basically triggers, right? Yeah. They're like, they're triggers. So for example, like seller home value requested, that can trigger something, right? Let's say I talk to that guy and he's just curious and whatever. He wants me to continue to follow up with him. Now I can go X this tag out or I can get rid of these tags, right? So that the next time he does it again, it'll, it again. the tags will alert me again. It'll put the tags again, right? But the tags aren't going to keep putting the same tags over and over. Yeah, I believe, though, Enrique, I believe, maybe Rob can correct me on this, but I believe after so many days, if you didn't do anything, it erases it. And it'll bring it back up and does that. So that's you have to set that up, right? Yeah. So that's where you have to set up a, an action plan um, yeah, to do that. It's per lead. That like the follow up boss, you can get so yeah. specific, like on this type of lead for this type of action. That's what's cool about it is what's cool about it is you could do a lot, but what's bad about it is that you can do a lot and it gets confusing, right? Yeah. And so right now, I'm trying to keep you guys basic. Right now, let let me worry about the the action plans and the customization. You guys just need to know the basics of how to use it, right? Because as long as you know the basics, you can get very, very far. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be implementing other stuff like uh, Elena Key, right? Hiring this other third-party service that's going to help us set up automations off this. Sure. It's all coming little by little, right? It's all coming little by little. But the thing is, for us to go to that step, even I have to learn this little by little, yeah. right? I'm not going to go to level 10 when I'm barely on level 2, right? And so little by little, right? So you just got to follow us on this journey. What, what, uh, what's on that one that says remove uh, the tag? I'm, I'm curious. I've never clicked on it. I wonder if it removes the tag by itself. Which one? You see where it says, it says to view seller report, click here. To mark this task as complete, click here. Oh. So I think if you click that. Oh, because what it did is it triggered a task, guys. It triggered a task right here. Was that a task? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look, it, it triggered a task right here. Got it. Got it. So then if I just want to complete those tasks. I just click them there, right? And I can uncheck them here as well. Okay, let's move on, guys. Um, so how do we access it? How do we use it? Okay, so here's how to here's how to access it, right? So there's two ways to access this Ylopo stars. You either just have this link saved, or the shortcut is you just go to a lead that already has a Ylopo stars right this link and i just click on it and then it opens this page and if i want to add a new lead i just put add lead so either either you save this link right if you want to add someone manually so let's say you meet a buyer today or you do a console and you're like hey i want to add this person and i want to start sending them properties um if that person's in follow-up boss there's two ways you can do it you can add them manually or you could just pull them from follow-up boss so every lead in follow-up boss I just click on a random lead here. When I click on the lead, this URL is actually a direct link to that lead, right? So everyone has a, because it has like a unique little number right here, right? So if I just copy this and then I go to my stars and I say, hey, I want to pull details. I just paste the link here and I can pull the, work, it'll, it'll work. edit. You could have a stars one already. A stars link already on that one. Didn't no, this is a different one. So if the lead currently is not in stars, right? All I got to do is go to the lead, copy this link here, go to my stars page, and then right here, I just paste it here. And then I can say, pull the details from follow-up bus. So it'll recognize it and it'll just pull all the information and it'll create the- So you don't have to manually- Yeah, or I can manually do it, but the faster way is if the lead already lives in follow-up bus, just pull the link 
and do it. So now look at it, it put the name. It gave me an ID, right? I can choose if I want them to get a welcome email or not. I can choose if I want them to get text automations. Um, I can go right here and start setting up their search right away. Right. And then basically now I set that client up, right? If the client wasn't already set up automatically. So this is like where you want to do it manually. A lot of these ones though so are going to get set up automatically. Like if it's coming from Zillow, some of our old leads that we have, but there may be some where you just got to add them automatically. Right. Or you don't want to wait for the automations to come in. You just want to like, you meet with them right now and you want to set it up in front of them. You yeah. could do that too. Right. Let's say I'm meeting with the client for a console. Hey, let me go ahead and set you up on a search right now Let, let's go over your criteria and i could just do this with them right now on zoom or in person How did right? you get stars? so stars like i said there's there's two ways either you go to a lead that already has stars and you just click that link in on the left right so like this lead already had stars so i can click this link on the left now that takes me to the stars portal and then i click add lead or this url is basically the add lead, the add lead url and then just stay right leave it on your bookmarks because it's, it's, it's complicated yeah so i can save this on my bookmarks right so look at i have this page right here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bookmark it and i'm going to put Ylopo stars right so now that's done and then what i do is i go on my bookmarks if this is a system i'm going to use and i'm going to drag this so that it's right here right and now it's a shortcut you will be living on the site, by the way, guys. So yeah. So I definitely recommend you have it just right here in your favorites, right? Like if you guys see here, I don't know if you guys have all your setup right here, but I have all the websites that I visit frequently for our business. I have them all right here, right? Even spreadsheets, right? Like certain spreadsheets that I use to track our business and stuff like that. My to-do list, right? Like this is my to-do list right here. Um. Okay. Once you're in that... Let's go back to the details. No, not seller report. Okay, so once I'm in, let's go back over here. Um, this is the lead that's already in there. There's a couple things you'll be able to see here. At the top, you'll see like the average price point, last time they were visiting, how many views, stuff like this. I believe, Rob, this information from Stars, you should be able to see that here on the right oh yeah you'll start seeing eyeballs if they're going to be open or hardcore because they favorite it so you're going to have to sell this i sell it i tell them how amazing this tool is that's the way that i that's how way how i get them on there and that's like use that as a way to communicate actually go, go right, there, right, there, right, there, right there right there right there right there on the right side right there oh so this is it right here that's it. so that, that that right there it'll tell you the medium price point uh it'll tell you all that stuff Okay, so this is activity, right? So remember, like with Firepoint, you would have to like click to get to that page, right? And then you can see the activity right here. It'll just live right here on this column. And you guys know you guys can drag these, I believe. Yeah, this is the hamburger I'm looking at. So if I want to drag this to the top, right? Because I want to be able to have this just right when I open the lead up. You see, how I'm dragging it. You can move all these things around. So if I want to have activity at the top, this way, right when I jump on the lead, I can immediately see what's happening with that lead in their search history here, right? How many homes they're looking at, what zip codes, what's the recent activity, stuff like that. Uh, okay, back to Ylopo. Okay. The only thing that you would have to do, you want to talk about AI, the AI on that? Uh, just real quick, because we, we, we're we coming up on time, guys. Um, the only reason is that's the only thing that you cannot see on follow-up kind of a little bit a little annoying part that they're working on so so being able to see the conversation yeah so if you want to see the i thought there was a way i thought i saw that there was a way where you could see it here huh so 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 why so on follow bot they'll tell you that you have a conversation with raya this is raya conversation right but it's so sloppy it's like the way it comes in it's so off right that they're fixed, they're trying to fix it. But the, if you want to see the true text message style, you have to jump into the Y logo uh, portal. And in the Y logo portal, it'll look exactly like Yeah. So let me show you what he's what he's talking about. So say the AI is texting your lead yeah. and they're going back and forth. Um I thought I saw a way where it would show up here. I think he's saying it is, but it's not clear. It is, but 
it's it's sometimes so jumbled up that you can't really yeah that it's, message it's okay so then what you do guys is you just click on the ylopo here on the stars yeah. go to that stars and then right here okay. this is inbox right here so that full text conversation will be right here in the lead message inbox so if they're engaging they'll show all the text history back and forth with the ai right um so remember that's not you guys that's that's yeah. that's supposed to be your virtual assistant yeah okay and that's so, what it says it'll say hey i'm the assistant it'll yeah. say hey i'm blanca's assistant from prg real estate i know we noticed you were looking at properties in this area do you want to set up a time to view these yeah right and then it's just it's legit it's like it's like a text message right and then the clients will go back and forth and start texting and then it'll alert you hey this person is hot this person's looking to buy in three months this person is interested it'll even ask them like what your timeline is and all that stuff right continue the conversation using that mindset though right so you're coming in as the assistant all right don't start acting like like your problem now right play along but then what you want to do also is you want to take it away from raya because raya can sometimes be a little rough around the edges she's only gonna get it so far right yeah, so, only so far so once you notice that there's some sort of engagement there uh, uh the, the one we you and and i use will say hey listen i'm gonna have my representative robert reach out to you shortly yeah right and then they throw it back to me and then bam i'm, I'm, I'm on board now right yeah so you can even pause it right so right here look at why lopo raya ai is is texting the lead so this means it's turned on so if the lead starts engaging it should start texting but if I want to pause it, like I'm like, hey, I don't want you to text my lead no more, right? Well, maybe I'll take it from here. You could just pause, and then you could turn it back on. Um, drip and behavioral text enabled, so this you can text this is you can turn this off and on. Opt out lead of all listing alerts. So let's say like, hey, this client's getting upset. He told me to take them off all the leads. I'm just gonna opt them out. Boom. So you can uns unsubscribe them basically from there. And then you'll see all the history, right? How many times they've looked at it how the alerts how many times they logged in look it shows you all the history of everything they've done safe searches all searches you can have multiple searches happening right for this client let's say they're looking in hayward fremont union city and you have three different searches going on so um notification is money guys it's, it, it's it's legit okay so last thing guys and we're coming up on time um what are the primary tools that we're going to use right so the primary tool what's it called why lopo uh, stars stars the stars portal right the stars add-on that's basically the main tool that we're going to use right and within the stars portal you have your buyer searches your seller engagement all the different things right that are going to interact with your follow-up boss and are going to alert you as well right as they engage you're going to get alerts and so what's important guys is that when you log into the system you're looking at these uh these tags right here these um i'm sorry these what are they called smart, smart list drawing a blank you look at your smart list right because the smart lists the leads that are engaging are going to appear in the smart list based off the engagement so it's going to appear in important if that lead was engaging right and so the whole point of you guys coming into follow-up boss every day is to come in and just say okay before i just start calling random people let me look at who's actually taking action or who i haven't taken action on so if I'm going in important, that means something happened, right? So I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pick on Blanca real quick. Okay, so Blanca, under important, you have nine people, right? And the reason why they're marked as important is because they're active, right? They're having some sort of activity here. And the last communication was more than one day ago. Right, and they're either um, interacting with Zillow. Once they start interacting with Ylopo, they'll appear there as well, or they're interacting on Fellow. So that means these people are interacting or engaging somehow. And the last time you contacted them through the system, the system only recognizes when you text them or call them from the system was more than one day ago, right? So the way to clear these is to call from the system or text them from the system. Now the system knows, okay, I've contacted this person, right? And so what you want to do is when you come in to follow a boss every day, you want to immediately just attack your importance first, right? And make sure like they're, you know, they're cleared basically, right? And then you start going down the down the list, right? You have a need, new needs contact, right? Some sort of engagement here. Um, but these are leads that were less than 10 days ago. 
So important would be like the hot, hot ones. The needs to contact would be like stuff within the last 10 days, right? So these two right here are probably going to be your most important list for new leads that came in, right? And then you'll have like people you've met with, appointments, stuff like that, right? So, uh, so, so guys, let's fast forward six months. I'll tell you where I'm at, right? Uh, um, every day, every single day, it's a block of notes, it's a block of season. Every single day, my objective is to get those front lists down to zero. And I'm going to tell you what happens if you don't get down to zero. Yesterday, I was working on my on my important list, and I got him down. I got him down to zero. He came in this morning with 33 new important lists. Right? That means that the system, while I'm sleeping, while I'm doing things, starts to generate all these important stuff in order for me to to to, to start calling. So now today, I'm back trying to clear those out to zero again. Yeah. So then that's how I know when I when I'm done with work that I actually did work. Right? I start to clear that list down. Yep. Absolutely. So if you call from follow up boss route, it'll it'll recognize that you did it, it'll clear out of your hot list. That's gonna be up to however you guys set it up on okay? yeah. like mine would have mine has to be removed. The, 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 the tag has to be removed. The reason why I'm yeah, the reason why I'm asking guys is because let's say you came in and you had one that you had a conversation with, you could also go in there and log it in as a call, right? So yeah, so this is based off communication, yeah. guys, right? So this filter is last communication more than one day, right? And so it has a tag on it, meaning that it inquired somehow from fellow or Zillow. And then it hasn't, last communication was more than one day. So the way to clear that would be to come in here and make a call, right? So you, I see Blanca has a bunch of notes, right? But the notes is not gonna log a communication. No, well, what, what kind of notes? Are they communication notes? No, they're just notes that she posted in there. But like, I, I called, called her? I no. Have I, I sent a text. Oh, we'll see. See, that's, yeah. that should have been under under the, the, the log the other side. Right. But then there's also the tags are still there, right? So if the tags are still there or no call has been made from this one, right? It's still gonna remain, still gonna remain there, right? So that's where you want to clear out the tags. This okay. Point, guys, you guys understand how, how it's yeah. played out. Yeah. How do you get credit? So and the re the reason why it, it's crucial, guys, and, and the whole point of that system is for accountability. That's what it is. The whole point of follow up boss and why it's powerful is it forces you to follow up with your lead. That's why it's called follow up boss, right? It's the boss of your follow up, basically, right? By it putting these tags and it putting it in these buckets, it's forcing you to go in there and clear them. And when you clear them, you're going to call them, right? Whereas before, when you had your leads all in Firepoint and there was nothing like telling you, hey, you haven't called your lead, right? Or it wasn't showing up in this bucket that Jason and I can see and you can see then no one was checking your work basically, right? And so now this is gonna check your, it checks your work for you. So if you just play the game and you just use follow-up boss for what it is and and not be like, ah, oh, this is a lot of work, right? Like, cause it can seem daunting. Like Rob says, I got 33 more, but hey, if Rob calls 33 leads today, what's gonna happen to his business? It's gonna go up, right? And so even though like he cleared them all yesterday, but now he has new ones today and he's like, shit, I got new ones. But because of that process, his business is going to improve, which is the whole point we're here, right? Is to, excited. yeah. Yeah, and so it's all about embracing the accountability, right? When you embrace the accountability um, and you play the game, guys, your business is going to go up as a result. Now, if you don't do the daily work from you, you are going to be, it, it's really, really easy to fall behind and it be overwhelming and daunting in like two to three days. Guys. Imagine, for me, it'd be like 90 contacts in one day. Like, I want to shoot myself in the head, right? So <laughs> stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. And also, stay on it. Like, like Rob said, I mean, if you can't, guys, if you do it on a daily basis, your quality of conversation, your quality of energy is a lot better if you look at the task that I have to do 33 versus 90. Yeah. Because on your first call to your 90th is going to be a lot different. Yeah. So if you only have 33, you, you gotta you gotta play that game on a daily basis so that you can give that good energy across when, when you're reaching out to your client. Um, really quick, guys, um, just give me two minutes and we're wrapping up. I want to show you guys the other part of Y Lopo that we're gonna use. I'll just give you a quick little snapshot. But Y Lopo has these tools that are that we can now access, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a URL on our website, like ylopo.realestateprg.com that just takes you to this tools page. And I'll even create one that stars.realestateprg. This way you guys can just remember it easy. Um, but this right here is some of the built-in tools that Ylopo has. 
it has a buyer presentation that's built in. I know we have our own, but give this one a look and see if you know maybe we can steal some things from it or or use it. Um, I haven't opened it and played around with it to be honest. It's all connected to Squarespace, but um, you know it's something that we can add. One of the things that I did look at, which I think is probably the cool one that we're going to use, is the open house tool. And so what this allows you to do, if you have if you're hosting an open house on a listing you can create this open house landing page, right? So some of you guys have been capturing leads at open houses by just the old fashioned sign in sheet or um, the Curb Hero or the iPad Open Home Pro or whatever. I would suggest you don't use those anymore and you start using this. And here's the reason why is when I click, if I'm hosting an open house, let's say on this property here, I'll take the MLS ID number where's that page sorry i gotta find it got a ton of tabs open okay so when i click that link right i can create an open house page put the number there and then your name should pop up here so i'm gonna go enrique create open house link you kick out the ML? um Invalid, or you have an invalid MLS. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so what it does, you host the open house on any property, it creates this page for you, right? But the cool thing about this page is what you can do is you can do a couple of different things. You can print it out and just have it on display, and you use this as your sign in. What happens is if you guys want to pull your phone out, pretend you're pretend you came to my open house and scan the QR code, right? So what you could do is you could be at the front door, right? Don't let anybody in. Say, hey guys, go ahead and sign in before you come in. They scan this QR code. Okay, uh, it probably needs to be enabled. But what happens is once they sign in, we can customize the question. So it'll say name, phone number, cell phone, anything like that. Um, and then what happens though is it now captures that lead and it automatically pushes that to your follow-up boss right which is great right that solves a lot of issues of us having a like but here's the better thing based off the property that they came to it now knows what properties they're interested in so now it'll start emailing them and put them on a home search based off of these properties right why lopo does that automatically right Whereas before you would have to capture the lead, come and download it, enter it into your system. I mean, we already know most people weren't entering them into, into their system, right? Yeah. They'd be like on some spreadsheet or some doc somewhere, right? Automatically captures them and then takes it a step further and starts marketing to them. It'll start sending them property alerts. Yeah. And then when they click on the property alerts, the AI kicks in and will start engaging with that lead, right? And so you either do it two ways. Either you just have it displayed like this right or i can go right it's doing a little slideshow which is cool or i just print it and i print the colored version and i just have it like in a little sign right here and i make sure everybody scans that bad boy and signs it right and it's branded to you automatically how cool is that you're, you're already you already put everyone's contact in there yeah, yeah so everyone's contact the only thing we got to do now is um we got to make sure everyone's headshot and like their bios are filled out correctly Right. And that's probably on follow up boss, right? Every kid. Uh, no, it's 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 got it gets done through Ylopo. So that'll be the next step is making sure everyone's headshot is in there and their contact info. You see how right now, like my phone number is not here. Got it. Okay. This way, like it automatically populates that that information. Uh, do we go to the site and do that? We'll no, they have to do it for you. I'm gonna so I'll, I'll figure that part out, guys. Let me leave that yeah, to me. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of work that needs to be done with all of that has to be done initially, right? Yeah. So so write things down and if you give it to he, he would only have access to it, and then they'll do they'll have to support you. great. Yeah, I'll have to um like to get this whole system system set up, guys. It's been like two and a half weeks, right? Yeah, I had right, to do yeah. like twenty different tasks to, and it's it's almost done. We're like ninety percent there. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so, yeah, real quick, I, just, I want to thank Enrique because he's been spending at least two and a half, three weeks on the back end of yeah. setting this up, guys. So he's been on many, many Zooms, many trainings, and I see the emails coming in on what the, the list of tasks. So again, we got it this far.
we'll, we'll get it, you know, we'll, we'll finish it out for you guys. But I think so far it looks really, it looks really good. Yeah. Can I say uh, something about the company Wellopo? Yeah. Uh, uh, guys, Wellopo is a powerhouse. Um, and what I mean by that is these guys are having daily, daily trainings. If you, if you want to get advanced, they do script training. They do product releases are all the time being upgraded. Uh, we're now connected to Zudilio. We have uh, uh, the freaking uh, uh, the, the branded sites. All that stuff is brand new, guys, right? And we're seeing it. So it's happening. It's an evolution that's happening. The great thing is that the CEOs are on it. Uh, like if the, if you want help to get better, like why Lopo's ecosystem to do it is amazing. Like right yeah. now, I'm talking to one of their coaches where they're looking at my numbers and stats and going down. You can you can nerd out with these guys to figure out where business is coming. So. It can, you can go as deep into Y local as you want as you want to go, right? So if you want to uh, uh, nerd out and be great about it, Y local is Y local is where you want to be at. Yeah, there's two things I would recommend, guys. Is number one on Facebook, they have Y local success community. It's a Facebook page where it's just people that are on Y local. There's seventeen thousand people on there, right? And it's just all like, hey guys check this out, use this script. Hey, check, right? If, if I go in here and punch in a question, how do I do this? I'll probably get like 50 people to answer, yeah. right? There's also one like that for uh, for follow-up boss as well. And so I would rec, there's follow-up boss success community. That one has 22,000 members, even more people. So I would recommend you guys all go on uh, Facebook and get added to Ylopo success community and follow-up boss success community because they work hand in hand and like you're able to network with like top agents all over the freaking US and they even send referrals on there. Like there's a couple referrals I'm trying to get right now. Hey, I have a seller in San Francisco. Hey, I have a buyer in San Jose. Who can I refer to? Right? Their YouTube videos are awesome. Yeah. Their training videos are awesome. They always have top uh top agents, like single agents, single producing agents that are doing a shit ton of business. They're on there all the time trying to figure out how how why they would play the game and how to use it. And they're super they're free with their information. Like the information is freely being back yeah. and forth. Um, a couple other things before we wrap up, guys. Um, so the open house tool is a really cool thing that we're going to use. There's this heat map thing where you can generate a report showing the buyers, right? This is the, the thing where we show how many buyers we have in a specific area. And you can use this on your presentations, right? You can use this on your listings. Like there's different ways you can use this. Um, there's branded market tr uh, trends. So if you want to do reports that you can print out and put like in your listing presentation or even display them at your open houses you can open this tool up and you can say hey who's the team member what's the location and it'll come up with like a branded page that you can use and it'll display like medium price per square foot right and they're all branded with your information on them and now you use these when you go on your presentations or when you're at your open house or when you're sending out a package to somebody, you can use all of this stuff. So this tools page right here will have a bunch of stuff for you. There's even property flyers um, that you can use um, and you can show them on your listing appointment. Say I have a listing appointment today, right? And I say, okay, I'm gonna go on a listing appointment. I wanna just show them a sample of a property flyer, right? And I'll put the MLS ID number. And I want to have my lender, Jason, on there, status active. And so you see back here, I think that was it. Um, print this page. All right, you could print it in color, obviously, but you could do a branded property flyer. And this way you can just show people just quickly, right? Hey, this is what we're going to do to market your property listing details. There's a whole like training portal with the tons of videos and stuff. And then there's the online community. Um, any questions guys, before we wrap up, I know there's a lot of stuff today. I don't expect you guys to remember everything, but I want to give you guys a glimpse of what's possible with this. And then as we go forward, we're going to continue to do training. So next Thursday's training, I actually have the Y Lopo rep who's going to be on zoom and she's going to be walking us through some more of the details um we'll get you guys access so you guys can start playing around with the system and then by then you guys are probably going to have questions and then we'll do a whole deep dive training with the rep uh next thursday so as of now do we have access you do have access um yes you do have access i'll send out the dashboard link i'll put everything in slack today yeah. guys just click on it and start playing around with it right yeah, guys, it is a learning experience guys there is a curve that's going to have to happen to just understand that right uh uh 
uh, you guys are a lot smarter than I am, and and, and uh, you guys should be able to pick it up. But it took me it took me a while. So, but you just just hang in there. It's amazing. It's amazing tool. Yeah, it's a cool tool, guys, and it's going to work hand in hand with with all the things that we're doing. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for showing up, and let's get after it.